Very different look. Kansas thinks they'll have Pettiford back for their next game. They've got a little time off after this one until they play at Mizzou next Saturday. That was stolen away by Kadari Richmond. Richmond passes up the shot, gets in the lane, scoops, and scores. Last year, he's up around 35, so he's off to a good start in that department. Richmond trying to get around. Uday does and lays it in. Communication, be recovered enough to get the to break up the lob. Yosef who's in the game now for Kansas, and what a start for Kadari. Richmond, six points already. Nice dump off. There's the former Mizzou player. Points Monday against Texas Southern. Gonna build off that. Oh boy. Richmond. Another into the lane. So there has to be help on the weak side to make Harris kick that out. He's got five assists. He's creating. So I know you're worried about leaving your man, but you gotta help out. That's Richmond. He looks confident. He looks confident once they get going downhill. They're trying to set up that middle ball screen right now. Richmond's got to be the guy with this lineup right now to, to initiate to be the aggressor. He's taking some tough shots. That one's good. He's trying to get himself to the rim and get a little contact. Just couldn't finish. Jackson. Wisconsin against Wisconsin Atlantis and sent it to overtime in a game they won. And then Pettiford he needs a bucket to try to stop the bleeding here. An 8-1 Kansas run. Just about the last three minutes. And Defo shoots a three. Everything right right now to prove to Bill Southwest these games become tighter and you get to the, into the toughest league in the country in Big 12 play and he can contribute on both sides. He can return to my man. That, that, again, the ball screen defense took forever to materialize there. Because he can, you've seen the pull up, you see the float game. And he's just learning to play make better out of that spot too. 12 points, 12 rebounds for Jalen Wilson. Who most uh, the announcer sometimes has to <laughs> say what he sees. <laughs> yeah, you and Ron Burgundy. Yeah. <laughs> broken, and Wilson's definitely not the guy you want to leave open. Tay Davis. Ball, just a little higher. Harris. They just glue to you as man to man with a little bit of weak side help. Nice cut. Watch out. Richmond goes to his left. And it might be a zone. So you gotta, this is a matchup zone. So you gotta be quick with it and understand which. Richmond. Wow. Crossover. Nice. Richmond with a dish. Extra pass to Dodds. Back to a one point. Hand it off. A battle with New Jersey supremacy at stake. Obi Kali. There's another steal. Samuel off the inbounds. Linked at the floor. Obi Kali. Along with Chris Murray. It's the old fashioned three point play. Davis from downtown. With some depth using his bench and getting a lot of people involved early on. Off the turnover. Richmond with the Euro in the left hand. And Rexley coming off a nice win against LaSalle in overtime. A little bit of confidence early on, even though they're not shooting the ball real well. Right? Two for 11 now is Mama from the floor here in the opening minutes. Richmond in rhythm. Foundation has a little crack in it right now, though. <laughs> but the, all the shots look good, so I would keep shooting it if they get it. Jackson. Didn't, may have been a shot or two that weren't great, but for the most part, another rhythm one here. He will take another look at this zone defense. Richmond with the left hand. Saw him being helped off the floor. He never put any weight on the left side. They were helping him, and he was just hopping on his right, right leg. Samuel with the what what you say? It's the second game that he's played this year. Yeah. His first points of the season. What do we say? Take something out of tonight. Davis. Hopkins gave it up as quickly as he got it. Now the other way. And the overplay by Richmond. Nice read. Yeah, you got to close the space, close the gaps when you're passing out in front of that defense. Now Richmond wants it. 
Richmond, long two. When guys are feeling it, you got to know where guys have to be. So many reads. Here's Richmond on the drive. He has been. That's where Richmond's really good. Get you on your heels. Oh, man. Stop and start. And shooter at Florida. His last year, he led the team in threes. Downstairs, Samuel. Just an interesting juxtaposition for Croswell. Yeah, sometimes you try to sneak out, try to get those easy buckets so you don't stick your nose in there defensively. I get it. Ten to shoot, Kadari Richmond. Driving again to score in the next Tuesday. Richmond posting Carter. Dips the shoulder, goes left, and scores. This offensive set get him back going again. The depth. Can they survive it and get a stop here? Breed. It's poked away nicely by Richmond and Seton Hall. Katari Richmond again. Brilliant. 357. So now here's the, the issue at times you run into when Reed. Hopkins is denied right at the rim. Katari Richmond has had a huge day. He gets to the basket and scores from three. Richmond. Kick out. It's gone. Shot seeking to. So I just wonder how you adjust that, right? If he's so comfortable passing there. Up top three is from nowhere. Missed the tip and the rebound for Richmond and Seton. Not if you're squared up. Okay, but when you're taking it with your shoulder or your bicep, I, I just don't buy that. If the idea is freedom of movement and he's trying to avoid contact. After you <laughs> release the ball, I would say that's a bad shot. Take that shot anytime. Richmond. Woo. Man, oh man. Entire Big East Conference. He can post up. He can shoot the three. He can even put it on the deck one or two times. He's really talented. So is he. Kadari Richmond. With the surroundings and... So good to see him back here in Cincinnati. I think he's going to do an incredible job. One for two for Kunkel. Xavier by two. Very early. And a triple header tonight. And there's a there. On the reload, it's no good. Man, he just appears for blocks, doesn't he? Incredible. Out of a rotation, gets all the way to the corner. The career active shot block leader in the country. Shows he surrendered irrelevant. But sometimes, you know, the P doesn't activate the P and the whistle. You know, that'll happen. <laughs> Kadari Richmond got to the cup. The coaching one college game. I love it. We enjoyed watching Sean Miller at shoot around. I mean, he was very vocal, very engaged. And just, while we were Debatable. talking, Debatable. It's, it's a coin flip, really. Kadari Richmond gets into the paint. I gotta get Jack Nungy going, Jason. Yeah, he's 0 for 4 in the first half. There's a back tap, and it leads to a leak out for Richmond on the step through. Crowd trying to be the lifeblood of that transition offense on the cut. It's oh, which is a volume free throw shooting team could could come back in this game from the line. No doubt. Fully set is when it is trouble. Turns into quicksand a little bit yes. for a couple minutes. Kick from Richmond. Dawes railing by seven. Here is Richmond. That is another long hedge by Nunji. Seton Hall recovers into a Jackson wants to get those points back, and it's popped in the air. Save to Richmond. Kunkel to fly. Does Seton Hall have one more surge? Richmond, bounce pass. Great look for Sam to start Big East play. First time they've lost their first three conference games in more than a decade. Andre Carbello's in for the first time for St. John's. Came off the bench. There is Dawes. That's Richmond. That's not the strength of a big issue. That's areas of growth. How about that? Jackson left wide open. And nobody on the rebound for Georgetown. Another shot at it for Seton Hall. Oda Cali, little stutter step dribble. About Bates as a rim protector. The imposing presence, how it's changed things. He certainly is a guy that gives you some size and a two-way guy. He can score it as well as guard. It's something you have to be mindful of, but you want to get the most out of your practice and your reps. Nice pass. That shot off. Upstairs to Sam. 
five. Kadari Richmond, they call him Cooks. Off to Richmond. Kadari Richmond. On his first attempt. East Butler's leading scorer checking in off the bench. Up to Samuel, the dog. No, has a lot to do with that. And a nice pass, another nice pass. Did you see what Richmond did? That Ooh. mod ascended his huddle. Wake up. Back to back threes for his team, but right now. Somehow hung on to it. Uh, he's just quicker to the ball and his size and anticipation. And now drives him. He's been excellent tonight. Richmond already with a season I seven assist. Opportunity. Nadefo would not let him have it. Seton Hall's got numbers. Richmond to Dawes. Create his own shot as a turnover. Three on one. Richmond. We talk about Seton Hall's defense, but St. Peter's will do you up as well. Backing in, as Kadari Richardson said, in order to be in a game like this, they'd have to make some shots. Richmond instead toot with the floater, and Samuel's up high for the rebound. Here's Richmond. In one sense, St. Peter's, their old team that had the run to the Elite Eight, was used to playing in, in big arenas with large crowds. That's a First made shot in the last seven attempts for the Blue Jays. Richmond off the bounce. Man. Just slips it. In a game in which many felt like the Seton Hall Pirates could have won against Providence. Richmond. That's something you need toward Memphis. They don't need to run much offense to him. You can just give him the ball and get you a bucket. Tyrese Sand. Aiden Hardaway in and out with a three-point opportunity. Defense. That's what Shaheen Holloway's identity is as a coach, and this team is excellent on D. It hasn't always been there because they've had one or two guys miss a game here, a game there, but they finally had some consistency. As Richmond is Richmond, man, Defoe. Up ahead is Samuel. Third three of the game. He and Dawes, perfect from downtown. Six of six combined. Richmond spins at a charge it back. Richmond, underneath. Murphy checks in the South Florida transfer. You can see Stubblefield's activity on the sidelines. That's what he said. We got a lot of more. Jay Davis, the freshman. Now Richmond. Back to Obi Kali. 4-4 from the floor. That's a big third foul on Nelson. Kadari Richmond. See Some family and friends in attendance. Richmond downstairs to Jackson and he's fouled. Joey Calcaterra on the floor as well for Connecticut. Number three in blue. Richmond. Finding a, a skill set that NBA scouts love, you know. He's not a terrific shooter. He's not. He's not gonna, you know, do anything off the charts. But his athleticism is. Richmond to Samuel, working on Sonogo. Oh, good cut by Odakali. Gives it to Kadari Richmond. Um, if you're Seton Hall in this second half, this next 15 minutes or so. Richmond all the way to the rack. Hello. Not a person in the building sitting right now. Kadari. Richmond with eight to go. Kadari finds Odakali. It's off. There's the follow. Count it. 22 points. And really, he said it comes down to toughness. Can we punch back when we get punched? He's still waiting to see that from his team consistently. Yeah, he only had four points in the loss against Marquette. Shaheen Holloway challenged him to be more assertive. He already has four in the opening six minutes. Richmond's floater. Getting to the spot, getting his hands on the ball. Very active defense from Seton Hall in this first half. The seventh first half turnover for Butler. Richmond, pump fakes, leaves it off to Samuel. 2-3 zone and really for Seton Hall to stay out of the paint and beat them from the outside. How about that dish? Still working on the coordination with uh, 
with dribbling the basketball, but she can get it in the net. Something that Seton Hall has done really well today. They've shot it 54% to Miller. That's no good. Rebound mid-stride for Richmond. He's got goal eyes. Handling the ball. And now here comes Richmond just backing in. Backing and backing and rising and scoring. So he put him on that side of the floor so he can use his left hand every mm -hmm. single time. Here's Dawes and his three. Great defense, though. 17 14. You might look at this and say, well, that's a low scoring game. It is, but this is playing in Seton Hall's hands. Now the rebound is taken down by the Hall. Yeah, I like the little pin down, the double screen. Richmond, a step in three. It's good. I really like his presence right now. Plugging that hole, and they can give him a couple shots inside and make some free throws. They swing just a little better to Seton Hall. Seton Hall just trades off their players. They scored 70 yesterday and 38 from their starters and 32 from the bench. Richmond and one. A decision like that. Shuffling feet. Richmond at two. Knocked it down with fire. As you see, Godwin goes down and turns again over that, that left shoulder, that right shoulder and get that left hook again. Dawes on the way. The one. Another one. Somebody looking to get it fired up. And there we go. Go to Cali. Nine shot clock. Richmond way outside. He hits three points for Villanova. Still not convinced that Seton Hall has really gotten into their offense, even oh, though they go over the top look. there. Yep. Deal. Go to Cali. Richmond in trouble. Almost got away with a walk. Maybe he did get away with a walk. See how they're digging at him a little bit? You need this. Got it. Both their conference losses by four points or fewer. Dropped one to Providence two times out, and then a three-point defeat at the hands of Xavier at the Sintas Center. Kadari Richmond, good ball fake. To and then for Marquette, they want to force turnovers. They do it as well as anybody in this conference. They want to get the tempo into the eight. Free ball from the side, and it's good. Kolik with five assists already. Like Richmond was probing. Seaton Hall down by nine. And Kadari Richmond, his last run to cut into this deficit. Look at the hesit. Oh, nice hesitation. Kadari in this conference, that's for sure. First time Marquette gone to a zone defense. And a lot of pounding the rock, but it ended up working out okay for Sean Jones. Kadari Richmond oh, leads it off to Samuel again. Just said, These guys are good defensively. We're not attacking them at all. So right here. Richmond attacks there. Go right now. Richmond with five, with four. Pulls back, tries a three. Pulls up. Can they finish this out for their first conference win? Kadari Richmond. Down the lane he goes. Off the Richmond. Against Alexander, now a switch with Jones. Nice nifty feet inside for Indefo. Floor down and get it within seven feet shorter, but Seat Hall is defending. It's there, you don't want to rush yourself up the floor. The cutter is Davis. Bello taken away by Richmond. Against Nyway. The Mike Anderson staple. There is St. John's in the second stanza. That pass, Curbelo taken away by Richmond. Against Nywe to the cup. Directed traffic. I probably want him to go with just about 10 seconds. It's Richmond. Samuel a three. Wow. He was going at it. It was fun to watch. Shot clock at four. Richmond lays it in. A big. Oh, oh nice man. pass. And Sander. This is the first time they played at Carnesecca. Since January 10th in Corbello with another mind-boggling turnover. Yeah, that was another one of those other first ones. Richmond lays it in. The pace of this game is slowed down here in the second half. Richmond for three. Yes! 
Since Curbelo was ejected, Seton Hall's outscored St. John's 25 to 15. Make it 27 to. And just by time, they made the most of it. Exactly. Richmond cuts. His defense is there. Is that shot clock? The depo baseline. To the hoop for two. He does that, just slows it down a click. Richmond. Division one coach in Monmouth history. Richmond hard to the basket. In his time as the head coach at Monmouth. Maybe we've got these two coaches to put on some uniforms and get out there. On the inside, that was good. Richmond. He's there to cut it off. Yeah, I'm sorry, the margin of error time is just so slim. Like, you've got to make that play. And Richmond is fouled going up. Fremantle didn't take the three again. Lost the ball. It's in the air. Take a 22-point lead and more. Bergens. I believe he got it. Now the other way. And the overplay by Richmond. Season. The end of their season was the peak. So it's right up there. Uh-oh. Richmond with the steal and the win. Timer here for Hounds. And a strip from Richmond. Jackson saved, and Omori has it. Oh. Threw a right to Richmond. Odie Costin to give. Oh, that was stripped there by Seton Hall. Three on two to Odie Kali, who He'll try it again. And this time, the rebound falls into the hands of Wahab, who stripped away. It's a great recognition. Seeing that you got Stokes Kirk in front of you. Look at there's another succession. Kerbel hobbled again. Then Xavier, who was banged around. Assisted at Seat Hall. <laughs> Richmond got out of Queens. Lobs it in for Klingon. There's the double and the steal by Richmond. Richmond was helping off Jackson once again. Dawes on the drive with the left. Everything is in the paint and everything is off the pass. Kadari Richmond has four assists and now a deflection. That has been Seton Hall's calling card throughout the season. The game progresses. The styles are just so disparate here. Creighton and Seton Hall. Shireman had it blocked by Richmond. And a guy like Nemhard and Alexander as well. It's not just the scoring for Nemhard that you're talking about. It's the way he runs their system that Greg McDermott raves about. The way he and Paul Frenner played together, this one gets spiked back in bounds for set in the first half. Good defense. Oh, they started so strong in this game. Such a strange year for Creighton. They've lost six at the defo. Tapped it away momentarily. Really throwing it right to him, he would have had an easier look. Jim, that was the first offensive rebound of the game for Butler. And Taylor rejected it. It was a really tough hit. He took he, he gets better and is okay. Five straight makes for Seton Hall. Another skip. Just collect to make four. We remember it well. We do. The Defo just caught a Dixon shoulder in the face. Good Almost hands. intercepted, was intercepted. Longino, no. The Richmond, a 40% three-point shooter. That ends a 5-15 drought kick. It's the Villanova field goal. It's been a long time, Jim, since we've gone nice. almost seven minutes on a 3-3 game. Richmond, yeah. And on the shot clock, Whitmore studies the clock. Makes his move, takes a bump, and a steal. At least the first couple of possessions here, very methodical on both ends. Iguodaro goes baseline, knock. All five Pirates on the floor have three fouls. Johnson. He played strong that time, even with the three fouls. Comes back with the deflection. Not one pirate in double figures. A couple of players with nine, Richmond and Samuel. Good defense that time by Trey Davis. 
Prosper ran into Richmond. Jaden Pierre, the Jersey native, the freshman. Got it away for Locke with five to shoot. His jumper is no good. Four fouls, so be it. Just keep playing defense is the message. Keep doing what you're doing. They generally don't foul all that much when they play this defense. Injuries. Stop putting everything together and making these pieces fit, which isn't as easy as it may seem. From the outside, Riley will look.